Perez and Mickelson have been at each other's throats lately, and the feud seems to have absolutely no end in sight. So what is causing all this drama between these golfers and who is to blame? Well, stick around to find out all the messy details. If you know Phil Mickelson, you'll know that there are three things he's great at. Winning tournaments, making money, and getting on a lot of nerves. At this point, we've lost count of the number of controversies he's been involved in. His beef with Pat Perez is unlike anything seen before in the world of golf. And when you realize that these two grew up only a few miles apart in San Diego, played the same golf courses in junior golf, both went to Arizona State and even reached a PGA Tour where they were for more than two decades despite the vastly different degrees of success. And yet, Perez says he has a different hate for Phil than most people. Then you just know something is up. It seems controversies never leave Phil Mickelson alone. For almost a year, Mickelson has been putting out constant fires. And this time, Lefty found himself in the spotlight after fellow live golfer Pat Perez revealed that he had a different hate for the oldest PGA champion. With the current Live vs. PGA Tour debacle, beef hasn't been anything new because we see people throwing shade at each other most of the time. Sure, they could have differences in opinion, but at the end of the day, they really don't hate each other. In fact, most of them are just exaggerating this stuff to get attention. But the same can't be said about Pat, who seems to have a genuine hatred for Mickelson, who, according to him, crossed a line that's uncrossable and unforgivable. Team 4 Aces golfer Pat Perez appeared in Claude Harmon's Son of a Butch podcast, where he didn't mince his words regarding Lefty. Perez is as outspoken as any golfer, maybe ever, on the PGA Tour, and he is extremely comfortable talking to Harmon, who coaches him, along with his colleague Dustin Johnson. And this was Pat again at his most honest and acerbic, conversing about a man in Mickelson who was one of golf's most popular players until his legacy blew up following his defection to Live Golf and the comments he made in the aftermath. When it comes to Mickelson, I have a different hate for him than most people," said Perez. Everyone really wants to know what went down between the two, but for some reason, Perez has refused to go into details. Instead, he maintains that people don't have to know what transpired, and he's not ready to go into the details either. People won't know the story, and I'm not going to go into it again, but Mickelson crossed the line with me that is uncrossable and unforgivable. The thing with feuds is that two people throw tantrums at each other, but in this case, it seems one person is hating the other, and there really isn't much bickering involved. It's more like a one-sided thing because, if you think about it, Mickelson hasn't said a word about it. And maybe that's because the 52-year-old feels extremely guilty about it. After all, Perez admitted that Lefty knows he screwed up, hence the apology. He knows he screwed up and even apologized for his action, but I cannot let it go. Perez also went into details about their past relationship, saying that he's known him for a long time. And it's somewhat understandable because forgiving a friend or someone you've known for a long time for backstabbing you is way more difficult than forgiving someone you barely know, especially when it wasn't a mistake. Perez claims that Phil did it intentionally and was actually premeditated, which made him wonder why Mickelson would have to go that far. I've known Phil for a really long, long time. Like, I've known this guy forever. So when he made this action, which was totally intentional, he knew it was going to happen even before he did it. And when he did it, I was terribly hurt. I was like, how can this guy do something like this? When Pat said he couldn't bring himself to forgive Mickelson for his actions, even if he didn't state them, knowing full well they'd been buddies for years, it actually made some sense. We're definitely not advocating for the continuation of the feud. But whatever the actions might be, hurting your longtime buddy because you could show up with an apology shouldn't really be the way to go. While Pat and Phil might currently share a fractured relationship, the duo have also shared several commonalities over their long careers. Although six years apart in age, 
They grew up in the same vicinity of San Diego. They also played the same golf courses in junior golf, went to Arizona State even though each had different experiences there, and reached the PGA Tour, where they were there for over 20 years, though with vastly different degrees of accomplishment. Mickelson won 40 more times, that is, 43 to 3. Now both players are competitors on Live Golf, the controversial Saudi Arabia-backed circuit that offered them loads of guaranteed money to compete. But that's where the bromance between Perez and Mickelson ends. In the lavish pre-tournament Live Party photographs, you'll never see the duo pose together, and you may never see them play on the same team. Now you may wonder what the feud is all about, but it turns out Alan Shipnick knows a thing or two about it. If you don't know already, Alan is the guy that wrote that controversial biography on Mickelson. His biography happens to be the most significant stain on Mickelson's otherwise decorated career. Most of Mickelson's controversies, especially his opinion on the Saudi government and his gambling problems, stemmed from that book. Apparently, Lefty didn't hold back in lashing out at the PGA Tour while explaining why he was engaged in conversations about joining the Live Tour. He explained why he'd rather work with the Saudis instead of the PGA. They're scary mother effers to get involved with. We're aware they killed Khashoggi and even executed people for being gay over there. But I would consider it because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity to transform how the PGA Tour operates. Just in case you didn't get all that gibberish, Phil meant he was one of the brains behind the breakaway tour and was only concerned about the cash and not the country's oppressive regime. Although Mickelson would later apologize, blaming Shipnuck for using his off-record statements, the damage had already been done. What's more, the 52-year-old even had to go into hiding due to the sheer controversy the book had caused. The dude was constantly under fire from the media, his employer, the tour, and his peers. He received widespread criticism from players like Rory McIlroy, Billy Horschel, Tiger Woods, and Brooks Kepka, who described his comments as naive, selfish, and idiotic. So one can only imagine what sort of storm this allegation from Perez would cause if it was actually revealed. Maybe Mickelson would have gone into hiding again, and even if everyone attempts to shove it under the rug, we still got some leads to figure it out because Alan happened to shed some light on the incident. You see, during a Q&A session with his readers last year, someone asked Alan if the entire controversy had anything to do with sex. Shipnuck said that while he was aware of the situation, they were a bit too explosive to reveal until he confirmed it with Perez. It obviously couldn't have been about the money, because if it was, Perez wouldn't have found it hard to reveal the root of the feud and maybe Shipnuck would have divulged the details without waiting to receive confirmation from Pat, which makes us believe that there was probably some sort of deviant misconduct involved. But since Shipnuck was aware of the entire controversy, why didn't he include it in his book? He does have a reasonable explanation for that. Perez didn't want to go on record about it, so unless it was coming from the guy's mouth, Shipnuck wasn't going to include it. Although Pat and Lefty have a lot of history, they haven't been super close and all buddy-buddy. Alan revealed that they didn't see eye-to-eye -eye during their friendship years. You would recall that after Mickelson's swipe at the PGA Tour, which turned into a controversy when he made unguarded statements about the Saudis on the killing of Khashoggi and other things, he tendered an apology. But Perez wasn't having any of it. He tagged the apology, horseshit, while stating that Mickelson was in it for his pocket. So when you consider the bad blood between them, only then will you realize why Perez seems to be taking all of this so personally. Oh, and apparently, Mickelson not only offended Perez with his actions, but his wife Ashley as well. So although it may not be easy to figure out what happened, it doesn't take a genius to know that something fishy went down. So even if a couple of people, including players and caddies, are aware of the incident but have chosen to keep sealed lips, probably because of how uncomfortable the details are, one thing we know for sure is it'll definitely set off a firestorm if Patrick chooses to make the details public. And now it's over to you. What do you think the controversy between Phil and Perez is actually about? Could it be due to some form of deviant misconduct Perez doesn't want out there in the media? For more intriguing golf content, 
click this video showing on your screen right now. See you in the next one.